It's about a thousand horsepower, right? No pressure. Okay, now. Holy shit! <laughs> 488 on a dash with my feet up. Creep right through the hills, the phantom, it look like a demon. Team. No, you can't ride in the front, you can ride with the team. No, you can't ride in the front, you can ride with the team. Oh, I see you then. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to Slipstream TV. I'm your host, Randy, and behind me, we have a 2014 Nissan GTR. Don't mind the lawnmower in the background. I think it's doing that on purpose. Anyway, I know what you might be thinking. Another GTR video? There's many of them on YouTube, right? Well, this is a little different. A stock 2014 GTR has 540 horsepower. It's a good number, right? Well, this one right here has over double that. Don't believe me? Check out this clip right here. Serious business, right? Now for the purpose of this video, we're gonna go over the GTR, give you guys a little tour, and go for a drive. And answer the question, is there really such a thing as too fast? Now before we begin, those of you that have subscribed, I thank you. If you haven't subscribed yet, do so now because we're gonna have a lot more crazy cars coming in the near future, such as these. Now, there's a lot to talk about this car. And don't mind the background noise and doing construction, but let's start with the front, all right? I know I said this is a 2014 model, but the owner has done some modifications to update the car. He started off with the front bumper. The front bumper is a 2020 bumper, and I know people had a love-hate relationship for the previous bumpers before, but I think we can all agree that the 2020 bumper is the best bumper. You have this little mesh grill right here. Right in the middle you have a GTR badge to let you know that you're driving a street weapon. I like how you can see the piping and the intercooler, everything from the uh, vents itself. It looks really good. Also right here you got yourself a carbon fiber lip. Just giving you guys a little warning. This car has carbon fiber bits everywhere. One thing I can say, I don't wanna say this but this car has fake vents, you know, right at the honeycomb uh, pattern you see right there by the LED strip. Those are fake vents, but, 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 still looks good, okay? This car still looks great. Coming up right here, you have this uh, 2020 headlight right here. This right here, the zigzag you see right here, it's a daytime running light. So when you turn it on, it looks really good. The first thing you might notice is the hood itself. It's a forged carbon hood made with real carbon, and it has two vents right here. These are functional. I wouldn't imagine it to be um, for engine cooling purposes, but but overall, with the hood, the headlights, the uh, carbon fiber lip, the mesh grill combined, this gives the car a very, very sporty look, and I love it. Let's break away towards the side. This car actually has a multi-spoke raised forged wheel. You see it has a blue tint to it. Um, it's to match the uh, exhaust in the back. It gives a good look. This actually has a staggered setup. So the back end of the car, the back wheels, it's actually bigger than the, the front wheels. You have yourself this Brembo brakes over here. These brakes are powerful. If you're driving a, a thousand horsepower car, you need some very good brakes. And these days deliver. They have a mean bite to it. All four wheels are covered in Mickey Thompson wheels. I mean, Mickey Thompson tires, and they're very sticky. If you're driving a thousand horsepower car, you need some grip. These deliver as well. So, you see right here, you have a GTR badge over there, just in case you forgot what you're driving, which I doubt, but some people do forget. It's a GTR. Now, at the fender, you see this vents coming off over here. These are all functional, okay? The way Nissan built this car is to make it as aerodynamic as possible. This car can cut through the air 
like a knife with bugger, okay? This is a very sharp car and it corners very well because of that. Another thing you might note is how this is designed as well. It's all for the purpose of aerodynamics. They went so extreme that they made the door handles of the car flush with the door. They're not sticking out or anything like that to create drag. They're flush with the door. You're probably wondering, how the hell am I going to get in, right? You can't grab it? Well, it's pretty easy. What you have to do is push this button right here. This gets exposed. You grab it, pull it, doors open up, okay? More carbon fiber bits right here in the side skirt. If you're wondering why shop uh, built this car, well, tuned it, it's right here. Fix Medina Racing. For a car that has over a thousand horsepower, yeah, it has been very reliable. Um, it's gone to many events, many races, and knock on wood, no crazy uh, damage is done to the car. This car never has broken down. If anything, it's a little minor stuff, but it has held up pretty good. So shout out to Felix Medina Racing for tuning this car to perfection. Right here, you have yourself another set of rims. This is the back end of the car. It's actually bigger than the front. Mickey Thompson again. These are very, very grippy tires. You're gonna see later on. Move our way towards the back. This is my favorite part of the car. And probably everybody's favorite part of the car because they see these tail lights a lot, okay? <laughs> if you're racing this type of car, um, chances are you won't see the front of it, all right? The back end of the car is very thick. It's very wide. It has a big, that's a big ass, all right? <laughs> this is a very thick car, okay? So, I love the way it looks. Even the tail lights themselves are very big. This is my hand right here. And my hand is smaller than the tail light itself, okay? Another thing that is bigger than my hand is the exhaust. As you can see right here, I can fist it. Pause, but yeah. <laughs> this is a very, very, like everything about this car in the back end is big. Something else that's big in the back end of this car and you might be surprised, is the uh, trunk space. So, if you go up here, you have this carbon fiber trunk right here. Of course, more carbon fiber bits. You hit this button right down here. This pops up, open up. Look at that. A lot of trunk space. The owner of the car, he has actually gone to uh, ShopRite numerous times with this car, and he made it look pretty easy. I can actually fit in here. So, it actually makes the car daily drivable. Not many, not many um, cars of that class can do that. And that makes the GTR special. All right, guys, we covered the front end of the car, we covered the side, we covered the back end of the car. Let's make our way towards the interior, okay? What you're gonna need is your uh, GTR key. This is actually the Z key. I reviewed this 370Z in the video earlier. Um, I put a card up here. But anyway, one thing you might notice is that the Z key and the GTR key are practically the same. Cover fire bits, you already know the deal. So, so you have the key. What you have to do is hit this little button right here, put the lever, and then you go. Now, sitting inside this weapon, the first thing you might notice is that there's carbon fiber bits everywhere on the steering wheel, on the flappy paddles right here. The center console down here too. It looks good to be honest with you. All the materials inside, they feel good. Um, there's GTR badging everywhere, right on the steering wheel, on the side sill, on the carpets. Pretty good. Now, this being a thousand plus horsepower car, the back seats right here, they have they've been covered up with a roll cage. I mean you might as well be safe, so I, I do support the idea. You got your fire extinguisher over here. And everything over here just feels so snug. Like, you see outside, the car is like big and everything, but when you're in here, everything feels pretty small. Like, this is like 370Z small right here. Um, so, cozy fit. I mean, for short trips, I could see me doing this. But for long trips, I might need the bucket seats, you know, to be regular seats. But, but... This is all for function, you know, this is for racing. This is a race car, legit. And um, 
yeah, it feels pretty good. One thing I like about the interior is this screen right here. Turn it on, got this little animation right here. It says GTR, and you can rotate the dial to change the screen view. You get different type of uh, screens. You got this right here, it tells you your speed. You can even customize it too. Uh, it tells you your G's, how many G's you're pulling, and um, yeah, how much boost you're pushing, fuel range. It's a lot of information down here. Very responsive, looks pretty cool. Uh, gives, it, gives it that video game appearance. And um, yeah, this is a very, very, very cool feature of the car. You got your aircon over here. This is dual zone, so one for the driver, one for the passenger. The stereo system of this car is phenomenal. It's really good. Might as well show you right now. Hold on, let's go to the FM radio. I can only imagine. Yeah, copyright, but yeah, you get the deal. It's bowl system, sounds very good, and I love the way it sounds. Way better than my 370Z, I, I must say. One thing you might notice is that you can't find the door handles, right? Well, they're actually over here. It's a little rectangular thing right here, this little button. It's a nice design. Everything here feels pretty good. It's a standard interior, you know? Not too crazy, but it's a little upscale. It feels pretty nice in here, I must say. The buttons, everything, as you can see, after about 40,000 miles, everything held up pretty good. There's no scratches anywhere. The leather is not popping out, out of place. Everything feels pretty good. The screen works. It's not freezing or nothing like that. This is a very, very well-built car. So good job, Nissan, on that front. So, on to the action. Yeah, the start stop button right here in the middle. Uh, you press it. And you hear the fuel pumps engage. You hear that, right? That means serious business. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, it's only a thousand horsepower, right? No pressure. Let's go. And then.
with a certain amount of RPMs, it just keeps going. Like usually, like when you accelerate a car, like you know, after a certain amount of RPMs, you know, it just dies down. But bro, this thing is just relentless. The power is just effortless, man. I feel like, bro, I'm shaking right now. I feel like I just went back in time. Bro. I can only do one gear pull, man. It'll be like first gear, second gear. I can't do third. I cannot handle third gear, bro. So I picked up my associate and uh, he's never been in this type of car before. You feel me? So um, let's show him what this car got, shall we? My Camaro, you know what I mean? Just like the V8. The major. Hold on, hold on. Roll cages. Hold on. I got the roll cages back there, man. Is it nitrous? What's that? Yeah, fire extinguisher. Oh, extinguisher. Uh, ain't nothing to be afraid of. Right now. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Smooth ride. She's smooth, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> on my neck, man, under my do Oh, no, this is only like for first or second gear. I can't do third gear. You got uh, the paddle shifters on? Yeah. Okay, now. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Yo! What the fuck? Yo, I'm... <laughs> I am shaking. Yo, that is wild. This is intense. I can't even put myself in frame right now. Yo, we're not going on no highways, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. Yo, that's first, second gear. I can't do third, bro. It's like after a certain amount of RPMs, this thing's open up. I feel like I'm going to the future. Yo, that the is that's crazy, bro. That's nuts, yo. Ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I think that's enough for that. Hey yo! I think I had enough pulls for the day, man. I can't handle this. This is crazy, bro. Yo! Like, if you ever wonder what happens if you grab a GTR, right? And you crank, and you crank it up to like a billion? This is exactly what happens, man. This is insane! Why do you need all that power? That is nuts! God. So what you think, man? I think I'm gonna stick to my ZL1. Yeah, the turbo spooling. Yo, this is just. This you gotta is make nice. sure. Look, you just gotta make sure you gotta brace yourself. All right, all right. yo, I'm speechless, dog. That I, yeah. is nuts. Like, what? What do you do with all this power? I don't. Hey, turn me back off, man. I think my asthma acting up too. But yeah, when you want to drive it comfortable, you know, easy, nice and easy going. It's really easy. Look at the neighbors, everybody out here. Uh, they're, they're saying, yeah, like, good job. Or something. We got reactions everywhere, man. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> yeah, you almost killed the bird, nigga. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. But, bro, look, 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 look. Look at this. The handle is just crisp. Even for a thousand horsepower, like, this thing can move, dog. Knock the chaps out of my lips, man. Like everything just holds out together. Here's those trouble. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, my soul is about to leave my body. This is crazy. That's wild. Yeah. Yo, guys, we're gonna conclude the video here. I mean, I'm about to return this car. I, you can't. You got like. Uh, it's, I'm it's true what people say that the GTR is very easy to drive, but because this is my first time driving this car, I'm, I'm driving a thousand horsepower plus car easily. Now, when people are wrong, is that they say the GTR is boring. Do we look bored to you? Do we really look bored to you? Come on, man. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, you know the GTR needs uh, a manual transmission. You can't handle it. When you, when you have this type of power that's coming this fast, you cannot do it. You can't do it. I don't want to. I don't think I want to, man.
one word that can describe this car vicious or violent or menacing you pick your word comment down below what, what word describes this car the speed like it's ongoing it never stops like usually when I drive a car and you start speeding you get the initial acceleration and then it tapers off this the faster you go the more violent the car gets it, it's so crazy I remember as a kid about nine ten years ago when these cars first came out I used to watch YouTube videos of these cars actually beating you know the Bugatti Veyrons and after driving one I can see why it's weird how the world works I used to be watching those videos and now I'm making one with that being said well done Nissan and I feel like I need to get one man <laughs> if you like what you see here like comment share subscribe for more car content and stay tuned for the next video thank you for watching and thank you GTR for the experience <laughs> till next time